What's up everyone, Kara Corey here and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another try on haul and review for you. We are diving into a bunch of bikinis and different suits from Cupshe. Cupshe is a brand that I've collaborated with now a few times and I really do enjoy their swimwear. I think Cupshe is a great go-to if you're looking for that affordable swimwear, you want stuff on trend, whether it's before you go on vacation or to the beach or on a trip. And we are winding down for summer, you guys. I know some of you don't wanna believe it. I'm here for it, but we are winding down on summer. So, um, I wanted to do one last haul because Jason and I are going on a couple trips, one in September, one in October. So I wanted to get a variety to share with you guys. I'm doing some sexier pieces, a little sexier, and then some are a little more modest, some are sporty, and just a couple different ones that I thought you guys would really enjoy. So everything I ended up picking up is less than $30, so nothing over 30 bucks in this entire haul. And because I am collaborating with Cupshe, they did offer you guys a discount code. If you would like to, you can get 10% off an order of $70 or more. And that is just gonna be plugging in YTKara3. So I'll have that on the screen in the description box for you guys below. And I will also link below each and every item that I'm trying on here for you guys today. Does anybody else love how their dog's feet smells? Or is that just me? That's probably gross, but trying to keep the intro not too long, but I also want to mention for the try on portion of this, we did a little something different and I wanted to actually take the bikinis outside. You guys are seeing me try these on outside on the water. It was a very, very windy day and you are getting natural lighting. So um, yeah, sometimes, I can feel like I look a little unflattering in natural lighting, so I'm just throwing it out there. Please be kind in the comments. This haul is about the bathing suits, so let's jump right in. If you guys are new here, then stick around, see if you like the video, see if you like me, if you like my very top, tired dog, Bruce Wayne, that's him waving to you. Um, and be sure to subscribe. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, maybe hit the notification bell if you'd like to know each and every time I upload. I'm usually here a couple days a week. I do a combination of hauls, I do a lot of vlogs, a lot of fitness and nutrition tips. So kind of healthy living, and a little bit of fashion sprinkled on in there. For reference, each and every piece that I got is a size small. So jumping right into bathing suit number one, I was feeling a little daring and I'm like, what's on trend right now? And oddly enough, like velvet is trending, not only in clothing, but also in swimwear. So I picked up what I thought was really cool. It's like this teal colored velvet velour bikini, a little two piece here. And this one is, I really like the color of it with the turquoise. It's got almost like a ribbed, uh, textured type print material. Just very simple, but it's got that very soft velvet to it. And part of me is like, well, it's kind of weird to wear velvet to a beach or to swim in, but I actually really liked the way this one looked. This one is actually probably my second favorite out of all the suits I got this haul. I was really surprised with how it looked on me and how it felt. I do have a smaller chest size. I'm a 32, uh, no, 34A. I don't know how big my freaking boobs are, all right? I just throw them in there if they fit, it fits. Um, but I thought this was really flattering being small chested, I don't know, it just felt supportive and it looked cute. Like sometimes suits like this can smush them down and make them look like I have nothing, but I felt like it looked cute. And I loved the back of this suit. I thought it was just really cute with the open back. And then it's got these like little cutout sections on the side. And I just thought that was a really cute detailing. Um, the bottoms are just like a basic bottom, modest coverage for those which um, I don't mind at all. I thought it was a very flattering suit. I really liked the way it looked. And I don't know, maybe velvet is my new jam for swimwear. Let me know if you guys have done a velvet bikini or not, or if I'm just wild, but I really liked that one. So this is one of my top picks. 
I don't know why I'm smelling it. I do need to try this one out in the water though. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to try this one out in the water. I haven't yet, so I need to do that, but I feel like it felt very comfortable on, so I don't think it would be an issue in the water whatsoever. I just decided I do wanna try this out for you guys in the water. So we're gonna go hop in the shower and put it to the test. So the velvet bikini felt a little weird under the water at first. It makes it feel a little bit heavy, but everything still stays in place and feels all right. But it does feel a little different. It took a minute to get used to, but I think you'd be okay if you wanna swim in this bikini. Probably wouldn't be my number one to swim in probably more to like lay around in. So I've done a couple of these hauls now and my favorite bikinis that have been my go-tos this summer that have really shocked me have been my high-waisted bikinis. And I guess they kind of shocked me because at first I know Jason was like not into the look of a high rise, but then he was like, oh, it looks I actually really like that on you. And I just find them to be really comfortable, especially when you're just not feeling like having a lot show. But for myself, like a one piece sometimes is just, I think makes my torso look, I have a very long torso. So I like showing a little bit of stomach because I feel like it does make me look taller longer and leaner and a high-rise bikini i just find so flattering it covers up like the lower stomach where you may be feeling a little self-conscious and i do as well so i feel you like i get the lower stomach pooching out where some days you want to cover it or maybe you're on shark week and you're just not feeling super confident rocking like a lower piece bikini then this is your jam and this color, I love the way this color looks on me. I don't know why I don't wear like more blue, but I really love the way this looked. I don't know if it was cause I was out on the water and it just like fit the scenery, but I thought this top was super cute. It's got kind of like the little ruffly strap and the little ruffles that come down, which is fun cause you can kind of play with it and like do it more off the shoulder or you can do it up high, but I am kind of showing you doing it both ways so you can play around with that. And it's just a tie back suit top there. And then the bottoms, I feel like they look ginormous when I show them to you like this. Um, they're just a uh, deep blue that match it and the high waist and it does have, the only thing is it's got quite a bit of rouging up front, which I kind of feel like almost is a little bit too much material. I think it, maybe I need an extra small in the bottoms and that's probably the one caveat or downside to cup she is that you have to buy the top and a bottom in one size. So it's either a small, an extra small, medium, large, whatever you choose to get. You kind of can't pick and choose. And sometimes I just am naturally an extra small on top and a small on bottom or, you know, what have you. But going with a size small, it definitely fit me. They're just, you'll notice there is a little bit more extra material in the front. But I guess sometimes that's kind of the point, right? With a high-waisted bikini, a lot of people that buy these are looking for a bit more material and coverage there. So very, very comfortable. And I don't think it looked like, I don't know. I still feel like it looks sexy, even though I'm not showing half of my ass cheeks. And like, quite honestly, even though I think that's what makes my backside look better, I'm gonna be honest from, a, you know, from being a bikini competitor, you get like this vision of how your butt cheeks look. I know that sounds weird, but so when you put on anything other than like a competition bottom, you're always like, ah, like, why does it look like that? But to be honest with you, anytime I go swimming or I am going to be wearing a bathing suit around friends or family, I don't want to reach for something that shows half my butt cheek. I don't know if it's lack of confidence, if it's my age, or if it's just the style that I prefer. That's what I reach towards. So I do I do like it. I thought this one was really, really cute and fun and I love the colors of this. This next one, I went with like a little bit more of a sportier look. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little something different. And I think that's kind of more classic. Kara is a bit more of like simple sporty when it comes to going to the beach. And this suit I thought was really pretty with the colors. It's got navy blue, a little bit of like a fluorescent peachy pink, and then the white on it. And the bottoms again are just kind of like a modest um, back on the, on the cut of the butt, and a little bit of a lower rise bathing suit. 
And then lower rise, is that right? I mean, it's not high-waisted. It's normal rise. I don't know what it's called. And then the top I thought was really pretty. Um, it's just very simple. There is a um, little bit of padding there. The only thing I'll say is I feel like this one, this style doesn't really enhance small little chesticles. I feel like it just makes them look a little more flat. And I like showing off the girls a little bit sometimes in a bathing suit. So that's my only downside on this one, that I don't feel like it does much for my ladies. But it is really pretty. The back I thought was really pretty, the way uh, it ties, it kind of crisscrosses and has that cute tie that just drops down, adds a little bit of a something something there. But overall, it's a really cute, just kind of like fun, sporty, like you're going to go hang out on the beach and play volleyball for the day type look. Not that I would ever do that, but if you're more of that sporty go on the beach and like run around for the day, I think this would be a really great suit for that. This next bathing suit I was really, really excited for. Um, I feel like it's very different. It's kind of a combination of a couple of the suits I just showed you. Number one, it's a leopard print and I, leopard print has never gone out of style for me, honey. I've loved leopard print everything since I was in high school. There will always be a splash of leopard in my ensemble, whether it's shoes, a belt, a top, um, maybe a little like headband or something like I always love a good splash a leopard It just to me displays like a little little sass, you know So this suit I thought was really fun that it was leopard um, It kind of has like the same cut top as that last one I showed you but I feel like it was a bit more flattering um, I don't know if it's because it just has the clasp in the back, so it fit me a little bit better, but the top's really pretty. The bottoms are where it gets like a little different, but it's a high-waisted uh, bikini bottom, and then it's got like this band up top with the little cutout on the side. So when you look at it from the side, it's really sexy because I think it just, it gives you that like little peekaboo on the side, which I love. I love a good little cutout kind of teaser there. The only thing with the high-waisted, and I don't know why, I didn't mind it on the other one, but this one not being able to see my belly button and where it hits me, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if it looks weird on me or not. You guys tell me, what, what are your thoughts on this bathing suit? Because I'm torn. Like, I love the idea of it. I love the look of it. Did it look like I was wearing a diaper or does it look sexy? I don't know. I'm still undecided on this one. I need to try it on a few more times, but it's, it's something a little bit different. And again, I was trying to get a little bit of something different with each and every one of these bathing suits to show you guys. But I do feel like you can never go wrong with a little leopard number. Okay, I only chose one one piece for this haul and I thought it was so pretty. Um, I do tend to choose a lot of flower. I didn't do as much flowers this time, but it's this floral one piece. It does actually have straps with it, so you can wear it strapless or you can wear it with the straps. I'm kind of showing you both ways in the footage. The back of it is just your basic clasp back here, so it creates this really pretty like deep cut like uh, open back there, which I like. I like when it shows a little bit of your lower back. I think overall this suit is gorgeous. The only thing is I did not size appropriately and you guys will see that. I really probably should have been an extra small in this suit. I really wasn't sure. Like overall I feel like Cupshe is fairly consistent with her sizing which I like about them. I usually am a small across the board because I would rather have my suit have a little bit of room in it versus being too tight. I don't know if that's a popular opinion, but that's just how I feel about it. Um, so this one I definitely am too, it's a little too big on me, in particular in the boob cups here because they're already kind of like set up for you. Does that make sense? Like they're already like, it's an underwire situation. So your girls need to fit in there. Mine, mine do not. There's, there's a lot of room to be had in there. So things can just spill out on you. But the bathing suit is stunning. I love the front cut of this. I love that little V there. It's not, you know, I've got some with a very deep V, which is very sexy, but I love just the little tiny sharp V in the front. And I love, this is like, is this more like 1970s of a look coming back? I'm not sure. 
but I love it and I'm super mad that it doesn't fit me. One of the ideas I had, because I wouldn't be able to swim in this, but I feel like it would look super adorbs if I did some high-waisted jeans with it, like maybe black, because there is like the black stitching across it. So I'm thinking I could rock this with like some high-waisted black jeans and maybe a little denim coat over it and just wear it more like a bodysuit because I feel like I could probably stuff this and then get away with it that way. If I was going to swim in it, we'd probably have some issues. We'd probably have some things coming out, need to be censored. It wouldn't be appropriate. But I think I am still going to hang on to this for the pure fact that I want to try to rock it as a bodysuit. I think it's a great swimsuit if you're someone looking for a one-piece absolutely love this but depending on your body type you may want to size down in this one in particular moving right along the next bikini i picked this wasn't one that i was necessarily drawn to but i thought it was a really cool idea so i wanted to try it out and this is a reversible bikini now i only tried it on for you the one style which is the floral side and it's just a really cute top. It's got like the little crisscross drawstring situation in the front, which I really like. I find it really attractive because it, for me and my, I'm all about the ladies when it comes to bathing suits apparently, but I think most females are. You know, we need something that kind of makes us feel comfortable yet confident. And I find that this does something for my little ladies and you can tie it up, you can kind of leave it draped, untied if you like, but it's just a really cute top with the basic bottoms that are very comfortable. The size small fit me perfectly in these. Um, but yeah, it's just a white pattern with the floral on it. And then what you can do, which I think is really cool, especially if you're trying to do this on a budget where you want multiple bikinis for a vacation but don't want to spend even $30 on a bikini, you basically get two in one here, folks. So you flip this mama jamma inside out. And yes, you're going to see the floral here, but if I wore it, you would not. It turns into a little stripey situation. So yeah, you flip it inside out. You do still see a, probably not if you, I was actually wearing it, but, oh, that's trippy. Sometimes it's trippy to look at stripes too close up. Is that blue or is that black? I can't tell. My eyes hurt now. Anywho, it's a striped bikini if you flip it on the other side. So I think that's a really cool idea. It gives you a little versatility within that one suit so that you can style it you know, wear it one day and then flip it on inside out and wear it the other way. How cool is that? So I think that's a really great deal for only, you know, like a $30 bikini. You're getting two in one basically. My last suit, this was my favorite suit and I, I wasn't expecting this. Sometimes I try to like try them on in the order of how I think I'm gonna like them. So I try to show my favorite ones first. I was most surprised by this. I wasn't expecting it to be my favorite, but I'm not gonna lie, I look pretty dang cute in this and a little bit sexy, a little bit sexy, a little bit cute. That's kind of my, my go-to for what I'm looking for in fashion, but I loved it. Like it really surprised me. The top is just so adorable. The top and the bottom have this really pretty scallop detail around the outside so you can tell in the wind, it's just kind of like blowing in the breeze on me, looking all cute. And I love the way the top fit me with the little drawstring up front here. It looks really cute if you wanna keep it tied. I'd obviously probably keep it tied if I was going in and out of the water, but I also thought it looked cute and a little bit sexy to just like untie the front and kind of just leave it a little more open. If you want to show a little more cleavage, depending on what your situation is, you can play around with that, make it a little bit flirty. And then the bottoms, again, we're just kind of like a moderate cut bottom, but I feel like we're very flattering. And I don't know, I don't think I really do much with polka dots. And I was so surprised by this black polka dot bikini. I just think it's so cute. I love it. I'm probably going to wear this one over and over again. This one's definitely coming on my vacations with me. 
I just love it. And it does have, I think most of them have the, the boob pad in there, which is great. So you're not like nipping hard right through your suit for the world to see. That's not my cup of tea. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys a little something different because Cupshe also offers on top of all the swimwear, they, I think they have lingerie and then they also have quite a few different like clothing items. They have a lot of really cute summer dresses. They have different throws you could put over your suits. So I wanted to try out a dress that I thought would be just kind of cute paired with one of the bathing suits if I was gonna be at the beach for a day doing something or if I just kind of wanted to style it differently. So I'm showing you guys this dress paired over the polka dot bikini actually. I will say it is um, more of like a sheer material, so it's definitely not something you want to be walking around not wearing anything underneath, but um, as I'm sitting here today showing you guys, I am wearing it with just a little um, like bralette underneath, which I think looks really cute as well. You definitely want to make sure like... I don't know, I think you could just wear like nude underwear under this and you'd be fine, but up to your comfort level, I just wanna make sure you understand it is more of that like sheer material, which does make it pretty for the beach. I just love the cut of this. I love that it kinda has the cut here up front with the little tie, but it's got that high to low look for the dress, which being a short person, I don't know, there's something about a high to low dress I think or low to high, low to high, high to low, doesn't matter how you say that. I just think it looks really cute because it shows more of your leg in the front. You can pair it with a wedge heel, makes me look taller and longer. And then it just kind of like flows in the wind and it just looks so pretty. Jason and I got a couple really cool shots. They're over on the Instagram if you want to check those out. But yeah, I was really, really pleased with this dress. Again, at an affordable price, everything was under 30 bucks. So you can't go wrong with that. I think this, in addition to that polka dot bikini, was up there as one of my favorite finds. So you can also check out Cupshe for some cute little vacation outfits if you need to as well. All right guys, that's going to conclude my full Cupshe haul, try on and review for you. We did a little bit of everything here, a little sexy, a little sporty, a little full coverage, and a little fashion as well. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you do plan on shopping Cupshe, again, links in the description box as well as using my discount code offered to you, 10% off, $70, YTKara3 is the code. Be sure to comment below what you loved the most out of this whole haul, what you liked the most. If there was one you didn't like, let me know in the comments below. And also be sure to let me know any other try-on hauls or reviews that you'd like to see on the channel. Make sure to smash that like button if you did like the video. I think it helps me out. The algorithm on YouTube is a little bit weird, so anything you can do to help like the video, share it, really just helps support the channel and I do appreciate Appreciate you guys so much for that. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.